In the shadows of the internet, a cyber army operates under the orders of a secretive regime. They are known as the Lazarus Group, North Korea's elite hacking unit. Their mission? To fund a nation under heavy sanctions, to disrupt global institutions, and to wage cyber warfare in the digital age. The Lazarus Group first appeared on the radar in the early 2000s. Though little is known about their exact origins, experts believe the group emerged as part of North Korea's Cyber Warfare Division under the Reconnaissance General Bureau, the country's main intelligence agency. North Korea realized early that it couldn't match the military power of the United States or its allies. So instead, it invested in asymmetric warfare, hacking espionage and cybercrime. The Lazarus Group is a key part of that strategy. Over the years, the Lazarus Group has been linked to some of the most audacious cyber attacks in history. Their operations range from financial theft to political sabotage. In retaliation for the interview, a satirical film about North Korea's leader, the Lazarus Group launched a devastating cyber attack on Sony Pictures, leaking confidential emails, scripts, and destroying data. The attack sent shockwaves through Hollywood and the corporate world. In a daring heist, the Lazarus Group attempted to steal nearly $1 billion from Bangladesh's central bank using fraudulent swift transactions. Though most of the money was blocked, they still managed to siphon $81 million, most of which vanished in casinos in the Philippines. The Lazarus Group unleashed WannaCry, a global ransomware attack that infected over 200,000 computers in 150 countries, crippling hospitals, businesses, and governments. The attack exposed the devastating power of cyber warfare. Despite global efforts to counter them, the Lazarus Group continues to evolve. They are now targeting cryptocurrency exchanges, defense contractors, and even the COVID-19 vaccine supply chain. North Korea's cyber army is its most powerful weapon. They don't need missiles when they can steal billions or cripple entire industries with a few keystrokes. In the 21st century, war is no longer just fought on the battlefield. It's fought in cyberspace, where groups like Lazarus hold nations hostage. The question remains, can they be stopped? In the shadows of the internet, experts believe the group emerged as part of North Korea's Cyber Warfare Division under the Reconnaissance General Bureau, the country's main intelligence agency. In the heart of Pyongyang, beneath the surface of the bustling streets adorned with propaganda, lies a hidden complex that commands attention. North Korea's most formidable asset, the Lazarus Group. This cyber warfare unit operates under the strict directives of the regime and is the backbone of the nation's digital strategy. The members, a select cadre of top-tier minds and technology, are fiercely loyal to their country. Recruited from the finest universities, they understand the importance of their mission to engage in an invisible war that will elevate North Korea's standing on the global stage. As they report for duty, a sense of determination fills the air. They are the vanguard of nations striving for recognition. Min Jae, an exceptional hacker whose coding skills set him apart, ascended to the ranks of the Lazarus Group swiftly. His path was forged when he cracked an encrypted file during a critical exercise, revealing vulnerabilities in foreign financial systems. This pivotal moment transformed him from a mere recruit into a key player, tasked with executing bold operations on behalf of the state. One evening, as the team prepared for their next mission, the commander, a figure of authority known only as Director Kim, entered the room. We have a unique opportunity before us, he declared, his tone razor sharp. A central bank in an adversarial nation is vulnerable. We will siphon funds to invigorate our economy and assert our dominance. This is our chance to demonstrate our capabilities. The plan was straightforward. Penetrate their network, manipulate digital transactions, and withdraw funds through untraceable channels. Min Jae felt an exhilarating rush coursing through him. This was not just a heist. It was an unequivocal strike against their adversaries, a testament to their prowess. Weeks of preparation ensued with Min Jae and his team dedicating countless hours to devising foolproof algorithms and navigating intricate firewalls. They employed an arsenal of tools, from keyloggers to fish bait, ensuring every layer of their plan was executed flawlessly. When the day of the operation arrived, the atmosphere was electric. As the clock struck midnight, the team assumed their positions with relentless focus. With unwavering determination, 
Min Jae activated the initial phase of the attack, unleashing a storm of code that surged across the screen. One barrier after the other fell, each successful breach igniting a fire of adrenaline within the team. Panic surged as alarms blared in the control room. Detection was imminent. Reinforce the firewall. A voice shouted, but Min Jae remained composed amidst the chaos, racing against time to close their pathways of entry. Then, seizing a moment of clarity, he remembered his purpose. A vision of a strong, self-sufficient North Korea, rise and confront and challenge world powers. Channeling that vision, he crafted an alternate strategy, an overlooked entry point that delved deeper into the bank systems. With fresh resolve, he redirected their efforts and, against all odds, initiated the transfer just as defeat loomed. Millions were siphoned in a matter of moments. This was not just a victory. It was a monumental achievement. Back in Pyongyang, euphoria erupted as news of their unparalleled success spread. The Lazarus Group had executed one of the most audacious cyber heists in history, transforming from mere recruits to celebrated heroes of a nation striving for recognition and respect. Yet, a sobering reality loomed. Min Jae understood that every attack comes with a price. They had amassed wealth but also stirred reactions in the global community. Retaliation from cyber defenders was inevitable. The shadows of the digital frontier contained unseen threats lurking in wait. As he gazed into the future, the thrill of victory intersected with the weight of complexity. Min Jae recognized the evolving landscape of warfare, where conflict were fought in realms of ones and zeros. The Lazarus group stood as a formidable force, yet the need for caution and strategy was paramount as they navigated a landscape filled with counter-cyber measures. With dawn breaking over Pyongyang, Min Jae fully grasped the implications of their ongoing clandestine war. A relentless clash in cyberspace, an unyielding pursuit for dominance in a world transforming before their eyes.